What is going on YouTube? What is going on Kansas City? And what is going on everybody? And welcome to the Beat of KC. Today's video, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be exciting. And the reason is, is because the Kansas City Chiefs are progressing into their training camp. And what's absolutely incredible is football, the preseason, is going to be starting this week. Football is here, ladies and gentlemen. So continuing back to the Kansas City Chiefs, because if you can't tell, I'm super pumped about the season. Kicking off, getting underway. And that really leads me to this next piece is the fact that the Kansas City Chiefs busted out the pads and we were starting to see some players get after it and that's absolutely amazing. What this video is actually going to be about is we're starting to see some players step up. We're starting to see some players fall behind and we're really starting to see some evolutions of some players. We're starting to see them take on some roles and really become something. We're starting to see some players fall back in the in the shadows. And I think you're really starting to see your roster develop out. And I think we're seeing some pretty impactful players. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, we know what Chris Jones is. But I'm super impressed with Chris Jones. And that's just one person. So we're going to be talking about what we can expect so far from training camp. And like I said, some of the players that are positive. Some of the players that are kind of falling behind. So if you're interested, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. But before we dive in and really start breaking this whole thing down, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to get into the video. Let's go! Like I said, the Kansas City Chiefs have kicked off training camp in St. Joe, Missouri at Mo West. And honestly, it's exciting to see fans back around football, and it's even more exciting to see fans back in St. Joe watching the Kansas City Chiefs practice and prepare for the season. Really, it's just, it's really gratifying because you know football season is here. And like I said in the open, the first preseason game for the NFL kicks off, as always, for the Hall of Fame game this coming Thursday. So it's here, ladies and gentlemen, and it's just nice to see the Kansas City Chiefs out there just clanging and banging because they're wearing pads. They're getting after it. We're seeing some players really stand out and shine. You know, I'm going to kick it off. I'm going to start it off really from an offensive side of the football. I've been watching a lot of people post and really carry on and talk about, you know, who they're seeing that are doing well. I myself am actually going to be going to training camp here very soon. And so I'm going to be getting some footage myself. I plan on vlogging uh, one of the days, if not both days that I plan on going. So, But some of the stuff I've seen is the receiving group. You know, Miko Hardman has really stepped up, I feel, this year. Uh, his routes, uh, it sounds like it, he's really starting to break off and do really what is expected of him in routes. We're seeing Marcus Kemp really step up and do some amazing things as well. Hey, I've seen his name float around a lot on social media, and I really do like Marcus Kemp. You know, he's kind of floated in and out of this roster, it seems like, the past couple years. He may come up for an injury, go back down on the practice squad, come back for another reason. But that's that shows commitment. He wants to play for the Kansas City Chiefs, and that's exciting. So Marcus Kemp obviously doing some amazing things. You know, you're really starting to see the offensive line head-to-head -head against the defensive line. You know, we've really seen Trey Smith basically claim that right guard position. And you really have seen him take on some very, very good defensive linemen. He's taken on Chris Jones multiple times. He's taken on the young guy, Tayshawn War Torshawn Wharton. You know, you're starting to see really what we're, you know, what we expected out of Trey Smith. And it's crazy to think he fell to the round he fell in in the, in the draft. Luckily, the Kansas City Chiefs were able to scoop him up. You know, that's again another person I want to talk about is Chris Jones. Chris Jones is just absolutely amazing to watch. I mean, if you just sit there and just watch the pure strength, the raw ability of just being able to just swim move, manhandle, just big men at the offensive line, it's absolutely incredible. One of the best things we saw was him go head-to-head -head against Joe Tooney. And that kind of had some resemblance back to when Joe Tooney played for the New England Patriots. Now, obviously, he's a Kansas City Chief, and we really want him to be successful. But Chris Jones, definitely, it looked like he took that a little personal and uh, gave Joe Tooney a little bit of extra. 
But this is what camp's all about. We're starting to see the secondary. A lot of guys are playing well in the secondary. You're seeing Mike Hughes step up. You're seeing Traverius Ward do some pretty good things. Uh, you know, you're really starting to see camp develop and players start to take on some roles. Now, there are some people that have kind of regressed. I've heard Darwin Thompson finally makes his official, you know, camp, you know, opening practice and kind of getting out there, getting the rust off. So Darwin Thompson's still a little bit behind the curve. You know, I do believe he was placed on the COVID list uh, and still probably coming back from that. So I heard Darwin has kind of fell behind. And there really has been some others, obviously, on the offensive line. Mike Rimmers has been kind of away from the game. Uh, and you've seen a lot of people, st you know, start talking about hamstring injuries. And that's a big one, too, with Alex Okafor. You know, we go out and re-sign Alex Okafor. And then immediately, he has hamstring issues. And that's an actually a big reason why he was out for a lot of last year. So is that going to be a lingering issue that's going to stick around and cause more issues for him this year? There really are a lot of things that we're starting to see develop. I'm excited about the secondary. We're seeing Will Parks do some pretty good stuff. Obviously, the Honey Badger, first one to practice every single day. You know, he's out there doing his thing, and that's what you want. That's true leadership, especially when it comes with consistency. Uh, I'm, that's a big word that I really am, am excited to see. And I really wanted to see this consistently every single day. Players being just getting better every single day. And that's that comes with the consistency word. You know, you're seeing Patrick Mahomes really air it out. A lot of people have been concerned that he's throwing interceptions. You know, I can look at that two ways. And I think a lot of people look at it. Oh, man, you know, that's not a good thing that Patrick Mahomes is throwing interceptions. But that also is a good thing because... Your defense is, is really focusing in on getting the ball. You're seeing the young linebackers. Willie Gay has been the standout of training camp so far. He had to get pulled off today, obviously, because he went into concussion protocol. But, I mean, the guy is 110%, 110% of the time. He gives you it every single day, every single down, every single minute of camp. I mean, it, it is incredible to see Willie Gay out there. And another one we're seeing step up is a recently drafted linebacker in Nick Bolton. Nick Bolton getting a couple picks, looking pretty solid there, uh, you know, stepping up in the absence of Ben Neiman. I do believe that they had three run, uh, three linebackers out there in the base defense. It was Anthony Hitchens, it was Nick Bolton, and it was Willie Gay until Willie Gay obviously went down in concussion protocol. But, you know, that was exciting to see, especially in base. Um, and, and so I really am seeing a lot that I'm enjoying. And again, this is camp. You want to keep everyone healthy. You know, Tyreek Hill goes down with knee tendonitis. That's definitely something you don't want to see, uh, especially for someone who relies on their speed. And really, and, and, and let's be all in all honesty, you rely on their legs so much. So there's a lot that we have to kind of keep our eye on. And that's why these times are starting to become very, very exciting. I know one for me that's really stood out, for, and a lot of people have commented as well, as Jordy Fortson. Um, I, I really am excited to see him continuously evolve. Does he make this roster, or does he end up going on to the practice squad in a kind of Marcus Kemp similar role? Um, the guy has just been impressive. Uh, you know, he was in some blocking drills today. Got connected, it looked like, either with Mike Hughes or Will Parks. Their helmets link up, and they couldn't get them unseparated. But, you know, doing some pretty good things. Uh, you know, would they pull? I think he switched over from receiver to tight end. Is that something that, uh, you know, this Chiefs organization would really consider doing is, is rolling with four tight ends? Because on the roster, we obviously have Travis Kelsey, recently drafted Noah Gray. They go out and, and re-sign Blake Bell, and then you're adding Fortson possibly. Um, you know, it would just depend on that whole entire situation. But as camp continues pro to progress, you're starting to see some guys really separate themselves. Um, and I think that's what's exciting, especially going into the first preseason game where you're really going to see, uh, you know, that game environment. You're going to be going to San Francisco and taking on that squad out there. Um, and really, it's just going to be nice to see the Kansas City Chiefs take the field and really start to, you know, again, have players separate themselves and, and determine if they're going to make this team or not. So I'm super excited. I really wanted to provide this video to you guys. Please give me your thoughts in the comment section. I definitely am probably going to be doing a live 
um, you know, to talk about this with you guys, go into some detail, really talk about some players that you guys are excited for. Um, have you gone to training camp, things like that? I will, like I said, I will be going out to training camp um, and I will be vlogging it. Definitely getting some good footage. Hopefully I can meet some of you guys out there. That would be absolutely incredible. I do believe I'm going to be linking up with uh, definitely Michael Darcy over from the KC Sports Report. Um, hopefully going to be uh, meeting up with Blake Sneeders also who uh, works for 810 WHB Sports Radio. So really looking forward to the opportunity of actually getting out to training camp. Not only to see football but to meet uh, the KC Kingdom for sure. So I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Definitely hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And as always... I appreciate you checking out the beat of KC and have a good day.